Hello everybody. Uh, in my excursion back, I am here to show some more, as promised. I have a big old pile of shit that I sort of been putting aside as it's been coming in just out of habit, because I would always do that to show videos, and I never did, so the pile just sort of got bigger. So I grabbed some off the top. And, uh, you know, uh, thank you for everyone who watched my last uh, sort of return video. And for the comments, y'all seem to like me, so, uh, yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> Love back at you. Let's jump into some of the tasty stuff, though. This just came in, the Lennon Pool, uh, Lennon, or the Claypool Lennon Delirium, South of Reality. It's a great record. If you don't know him, it's, uh, you know, Les Claypool from... Primus, of course, and Sean Lennon, of course, we all know who his father is, <laughs> and a lot of influences on this album, you could hear some Beatlesque pop, you could hear some of that progressive weirdness, you know, from Primus going on, I mean, you know, there, there's rock, there's some 60s psych elements in it, I guess most people would call it a progressive album, I would call it weirdo pop, just me, great, great album. I pre-ordered it months ago, months ago, and it is on some tasty splatter vinyl. Oh, eye candy, baby. Everybody loves a little eye candy. Oh, next up, Wartime, Food for Thought. This is a, pri a side project of uh, Henry Rollins, and the bass player for Rollins' band at the time, who was... Oh, I can't even remember his name, Andrew something. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, bass and some sort of like electronic drums, like a drum machine mixed with Henry Rollins doing his thing. I mean, great fucking record. I think it's from 89 or 90, 1990. If you love Henry Rollins, if you love Rollins Band, look for this time. Wartime Food for Thought. You can... Find it pretty cheap, but definitely tasty. And speaking of Rollins Band, Rollins Band turned on a collection of live recordings from, oh, where is this? Two different ones. It's from, oh, well, can't remember. It doesn't matter. But I believe it's from two different shows. I love Rollins Band. Why not have some live stuff? <laughs> what else is there to say? Ah, the Breeders' new album, uh, what the hell is it called, I forget. All Nerve. Sort of a throwback to their first album, I would think, because uh, lots of little slow sort of spacey bits. Uh, but then, you know, every now and then they rock out, so, I mean, it's just classic Breeders. You gotta love the Breeders. Ah, two from these guys, Slow Green Thing. Uh, German band, I believe, I got two, and I got three. Sludgy, doom, rock, basically. <laughs> you know what I mean? Picture stoner, like a stoner album, but then with sort of really almost uh, melodic 90s vocals. So it's a really cool juxtaposition, but... Great band, check them out. Uh, I'll try to remember to put a Bandcamp link down for them. I know that's where I got them from. Acid Mother's Temple. Uh, uh, I can't even remember what this album is called. Doesn't matter. Electric Dream Ecstasy. <laughs> you, you can tell I've had these things for so long I, I can't even remember what the hell I'm talking about came off of Essence Music, I believe from Brazil, which I thought was interesting. It's first Brazilian press uh, that I know of, or at least the first album from Brazil that I know that I have. Oh, that's not true, because I have, uh, what's his name? Pascual, Hermeto Pascual, who I believe is Brazilian. But just anything Acid Mother's Temple, I gotta get, I gotta buy. You guys know me, I'm addicted, so I always get it. And speaking of Acid Mother's Temple, Hallelujah something. Hallelujah Mystic Garden, a part one, off of Imprec, 
which they haven't had a record off of Imprec for quite a while. Imprec, important records. But every time something comes out, I gotta buy them. Japanese uh, sort of new psychedelic underground music. Just craziness, craziness. And I love it. I don't even know what this one is. I know that sounds stupid, but I don't know what it is. I got it as an extra when I bought another album, and I never listened to it. I know that seems bad, but Bart uh, de, de Pepe, de Pepe, uh, Pegas Wase, Wasai. Look it up. It's from Beyond Beyond Records, so maybe you guys know it. Maybe you can inform me. And the one I bought that came along with that, our Solar System uh, Origins, great band, a sort of a collective, I would say of musicians because it's like 20 of them that just get together and do long extended jams and look at that tasty vinyl uh space rock psychedelic it's what i would call it and like i said just long jams only two sides to the record and two songs you know for the record so one side one song how do you not love them? Improvised collective of psychedelic jams. Squiga, uh, Squiga, Squigamoto. I guess that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> uh, Kawabata Makoto from Acid Mother's Temple does a little guitar on this album. A Japanese band, as you can tell. Uh, all women, except for of course Kawabata Makoto, who joins in and. They're a little hard to describe. I guess you'd call it experimental rock with bits of punk in it. Kind of weirdo noises and sounds and angular things going on. It's just, it's, it's kind of hard to describe. It's kind of like, like the band Boredoms, if you know Boredoms. But picture Boredoms on acid and they're just tripping out. It's kind of what they sound like. But not tripping out in the sense where it's like a freak out and everything's just this wall of noise. It's just bizarre. Weird to describe. It's hard to describe. You'll forgive me. Orzen Space Collective. Chato uh, Yent. Chato Yent Breath. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. Orzen Space Collective is a group of musicians that is a ever revolving group of musicians, I should say, uh, from. Well, not from Denmark, but from Europe and the United States that just get together in Denmark and record. Improvised jams, they tend to be long and extended. Uh, each one of these is 20 minutes or more. Four sides to the album, one <laughs> song to each side. I mean, I, I love them. It's one of the things I like about music, that free sort of experimental improvised thing. They just get together, they jam, and if it sounds good, they press it. Anywhere, Anywhere 2. Great album. Uh, acoustic Psychedelic is how I would uh, uh, describe them. Although with this one, they, they do get into a little bit more of the electric sound. But their their first album was all acoustic. Uh, Cedric uh, Bixlar Zavala, that's how you pronounce his name, from the Mars Volta comes in, does some vocals and does drums. And a bunch of other musicians <laughs> come into this one, but... Anywhere, great band, check them out. Timeless All Stars, featuring Curtis Fuller, uh, Harold Land, Bobby Hutchison, Cedar Walton, uh, Buster Williams, and the great Billy Higgins. 80s press off of uh, Timeless, but it was cheap, and it's good damn jazz. Uh, the great professor. Wow, I forget his name. Shit, I'm horrible. The Great Professor, <laughs> John Coltrane, 69. Chris, Jesus, shows you how long I've been out. Uh, Chris made me uh, buy this, essentially showed it to me. I mean, post-bop jazz that's cheap, I'll take it, I'll take it. Um, wow, I forgot about this. So, yeah, the Great Jeffrey Scott Greer did a uh, lathe uh, cut 10 inch which he's sent out to select a few people, myself included. Uh, and I actually helped him press his first album. Uh, 
schematics for Blank Stare, which I have plenty of copies still. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Jeffrey, if you're watching, thank you for sending that over to me. Uh, good friends in vinyl and in music. Uh, Fire! Off of the great Norwegian Rune Gramophone label. And, I mean, what's it to say? Fire is fire. <laughs> uh, very new contemporary jazz is how I put it. Influence of electronic and influence of rock and almost punk. But overall, just played with that energy because it's just jazz. And it is awesome. Some light, airy, long tracks on here, but mostly just sort of assaulting your ears. The kind of stuff I love. And the last one we got, Earthless, Black Black Heaven, I th uh, yes, Black Heaven. Shows you how long I haven't showed videos. This, the album's been out for like over a year and I still haven't showed it. Uh, I will say this, I sort of, as good as this album is, I miss the old Earthless. Earthless used to be these long, extended, just psychedelic jams and they're not doing that anymore. And there's nothing wrong with that, because the album's still fucking awesome. But, I miss the old Earthless. And if you're an Earthless fan, you know what I'm talking about. That's all I got to show for now. If I'm trying to show everything, it's just going to get way too long. <laughs> so, until next time. <laughs>